chef Thomas Keller holds culinary deity status. Keller's French Laundry Restaurant and the seven others that he runs are based on his belief that perfection is the only option. You talk about learning to salt properly. Salt, not pepper, because we always think of salt and pepper right, together. Right, exactly. But pepper actually adds flavor or changes flavor. Salt enhances flavor. We talk about, well, that dish was bland. It was bland because it wasn't seasoned properly and seasoned with salt. So certainly seasoning your food properly and by actually holding your hand up rather high and having the salt in between your fingers and kind of letting it fall so that as it falls through the air, it's dispersed out evenly over the piece of meat or the vegetables or whatever you're using. And sometimes we tend to salt really, really close to our products. That's right. And therefore concentrating that salt in a specific area, not getting a uniform seasoning across the surface of it. Do you believe in salting in the early stages of cooking, or let's say salting before you cook, as opposed to salting toward the end of cooking? I, I like to do both. If we talk about a steak, for example, I, I, I love to salt before. And then, of course, at the end, before we serve it or before we eat it, we're going to add a little finishing salt, because I love what that does with protein. The enhancement of the flavor, of course, but also the texture of the salt I find very intriguing. You know, the crunch of a larger grain of salt. Yeah, it explodes in your mouth. And you go, wow, that's just that's an extraordinary yeah. feeling and sensation to have. Let's talk about seasoning with acid. We're all used to making vinaigrettes for our salads. When we talk about seasoning with vinegar, we're seasoning our food to enhance the flavor not to necessarily taste the seasoning ingredient. Whether it's a sauce, could be a soup, things like that where it's gonna help enhance the flavor of the dish rather than adding flavor to the dish. So there's, there's a big difference there between adding and enhancing. Right, it sort of brightens it, doesn't it? It does, it's extraordinary. If you could teach people only one recipe, where would you start? I think roasted chicken for, for a number of different reasons. And it's so satisfying, the, the aromas as it's roasting. And then of course you have so many different textures and flavors depending on what piece of meat you're eating. So I think you know being able to roast a chicken really well is something that will serve you for a long, long time. We roast our chickens in the simplest way is I love, I love a very high heat, 425, 450. I love uh, a lot of salt, in this case, pepper uh, over the skin, and, and I'll just put them in the oven. Thomas, it's the perfect recipe because the roasting of a chicken incorporates so much of what we've been talking about. Thank you.